In this video, we take a look at Burna Boy's journey through his various fights with other celebrities. Burna Boy vs. or Bar Femi Martins and CDQ or Bar Femi Martins is a Nigerian professional footballer and one of the richest big boys in Lagos. He is fondly called or Bar Goal. He is a fantastic footballer with great goal scoring abilities, but that cannot even rival his partying skills. He is known for always chilling in the club and partying with other celebrities. Burna Boy's feud with or Bar Goal started with an allegation of disrespect. CDQ, a Nigerian rapper, called out Burna Boy for disrespecting or Bar Femi Martins. It was gathered that Burna Boy fought with Martins and CDQ at Bay Rock Club in Lagos. According to the gathered information, the fight started when Burna Boy allegedly confronted or Bar Femi Martins and demanded that the football star showed him respect. The beef was over quickly though, because only a few hours later, a video surfaced with the trio chilling at the same VIP section. Burna Boy vs. Shada Wale Ghanaian reggae dancehall artist Charles Mensa, popularly known as Shada Wale, has engaged in a war of words with Burna Boy on social media for a very long time. For those who might not know how it all started, here is what transpired between the music stars. On December 26, 2021, Shada Wale, while addressing his fans at Green Lounge in Ghana, took a swipe at his Nigerian counterparts. He threw a shade at Nigerian artists after selling out the Accra Sports Stadium for his concert. At the concert, he boasted that he did not need Nigerian musicians to fill up the biggest stadium in Ghana. Little did we know that Shadow Wale's statement was a calculated attack on a particular artist, and that is Burna Boy. Burna Boy, who was not pleased with Shada Wale's words, took to his Instagram story to condemn any attempt to divide African nations. He wrote, Pushing this agenda of separation between our beautiful African nations is a grave disservice to the generations coming after us. It goes against everything I stand for as a man and as an unapologetic pan-Africanist. He also added, Therefore, if Shata or anyone has a personal problem with me, I'm still open to fighting one-on-one -on -one and squashing it after. As if Shata Wale was waiting on Berna's reply, he snapped and double-dared the Grammy-winning artist to a one-on-one -on -one challenge in a stadium in Accra, Ghana. Berna Boy responded, insisting on engaging Shada in a physical fight like real men do. Shada Wale then responded, saying he had respect for Burna Boy's mom, who also doubled as his manager. Burna Boy has since backed down and stopped responding to Shada Wale's outbursts. Burna Boy vs. Davido we weren't really surprised by this, owing to the fact that Burna Boy and Davido have always had a back and forth, taking digs at each other. From the vocal booth, their first physical fight happened in the street of Ghana. The pair had a free-for-all fight on the 28th of December 2020 at a club in Ghana. According to an eyewitness, Stephen Mingle, Burna Boy came to the club and attacked Davido. The African giant was later asked to leave the premises with his boys. The duo ended their beef recently, as Burna Boy announced that he is no longer vexed with co-superstar Davido. Burna Boy vs. Ikea In 2019, when the xenophobic riots occurred in the South African city of Johannesburg, the riot led to the death of at least seven people. Burna Boy reacted to the attacks because Nigerians were also targeted. The situation took a wild turn after Burna Boy said he would boycott South Africa because his fellow Nigerians were being treated badly. During the xenophobic attacks, in a series of tweets, Burna Boy took direct shots at Ikea for his stand on the xenophobic attacks on Nigerians in South Africa. He wrote, and at AKA Worldwide, I knew you was retarded, but I didn't know it had gotten this bad. 
Next time I see you, you better have a big security bro. On Gambo's grave you're gonna need it. Burnaboy further shared his own experience with xenophobia while he was in South Africa in 2017. I personally have had my own xenophobic experiences at the hands of South Africans, and because of that, I have not set foot in South Africa since 2017, and I will not ever go to South Africa again for any reason until the South African government wakes the bleep up and really performs a miracle because I don't know how they can even possibly fix this," he wrote. Burnaboy vs. Mr. 2K Burnaboy's feud with Mr. 2K started in October 2017, when Mr. 2K reacted to the negative things Burnaboy said about Nigerian pastors. During an interview, Mr. 2K noted that Burnaboy shouldn't have spoken ill of pastors because they are anointed men of God. Burnaboy, who wasn't pleased with the unsolicited advice, allegedly threatened him, you better have that energy when I come for you, because I'm coming for you. On the 22nd of October 2017, Two Baba and Tiwa Savage headlined Buck World and Breathless at Echo Hotel and Suites, where Mr. Takei also performed. After his performance, he went to his hotel room, where he was attacked and robbed. Most of his possessions were gone, and he was left with bruises. The case was reported to the police by the hotel management, for suspects were arrested, including Burnaboy's road manager. During interrogation, the robbers confess that they were hired by Burnaboy through his manager. This confession prompted the police to invite Burnaboy for questioning over Mr. Takei's robbery incident. The singer later honored the police invitation. So far, so good. It seems the case has been settled.